Hey y'all, it's me again, Joey. This is the hives in my new out yard. I might scan around a little bit and show you some pictures of what it looks like. But what I'm gonna do is just go in and check these second boxes. I got some old comb I wanna add to them if they need it, if they need anything, or if they need a third box, I may add a third box. The first thing I gotta do is put this bottom on here because these, these are still sitting on one of my double screen divider boards. But instead of picking all this mess up myself this time, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Let me show y'all what we're gonna do. We have got a brand new tool for the tool box. Yeah, I finally broke down and got my hive lifter. Now, I haven't lifted any boxes with bees in it. I've done a couple little practice runs just to try to get this all set right and everything. But we'll go ahead and suit up. But we may end up dropping this thing. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick these two boxes up and put a new bottom on there. And then we'll go through the rest of them. Y'all ready? Let's get started. I don't know what's going to happen, y'all. I'm going to try to do this simple. Let's see. One thing I do worry about is it poking a hole in my mat. If, if that actually happens, I'll, uh, I'll figure out a way to deal with that. I wish I had a way to set my other camera up a little bit closer where you could actually see what's happening. Maybe I just need to move this camera over here a little bit. Let's see if I'm anywhere close. Right there. Yeah, y'all probably saying, well, you could have done had the four boxes lifted off by now. And that's probably true. Got them all excited, didn't I? Those make pretty good bottoms when you're in a pinch. Yep. That 
wasn't too bad. The beat picking that big old hit box up. And all these folks probably just crawl right back in. Let's see what they do. Maybe. Let's dump some of them first. That took a lot of work out of that. Okay. Alright, we'll do a little more talking about this thing down the road. But that's all I needed to do with it right now. I do have another one in another yard that I gotta put a new bottom on. So I'll probably throw that in here too. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my inspection. Okay, while that colony settles down, we'll go ahead and check this one out. See what it needs. Like I say, I got a, I brought a few old cone with me with some honey in it. I can put in this top box if I need it. Some of these I just added, these top boxes. So. I imagine instead of needing a third box, they'll just need some help here. I'm not even seeing a whole lot of activity here. Let's just peek in the, in the oh, because this is just empty frames. Yeah, see? Everything I've boxed up, everything in every yard that I put extra boxes on for the flow, look just like they did two weeks ago when I did everything. They hadn't budged. Been hearing Mike and Mr. Ed talking about the flow. And that's pretty much what is going on. I tell you, since I got this box pulled, I got a one frame. I'm going to pull this out. Let's see. Let me, let me see. No, they draw on this, so I'm gonna leave it alone. That's pretty, ain't it? That's that premiere. Let's see what this side looks like. They're working on it. So yeah, we'll uh, They got that drawing that out. That's more familiar. No, I tell you what this is. I said this is premier. The old cone that I've been having trouble with, I did what some of y'all told me. And I, I didn't just wipe wax on it because I'd already tried that. But while I was re-waxing some foundations, I did about 10 of them. I said I'm going to try one in every hive that I'd go through that needed a plastic. And this one got that and now look what they're doing. Doing a great job. They even got this side started. Alright. We're going to leave them working there. And I'll just get a couple of uh, frames and put in that second box. I'm going to give them at least two. two. Alright, I'm going to 
tradição. It is hot out here. Man, let's see what we got. Looks like a pretty good bit of bees working this side. So we'll start over here. Not as many bees. I'm going to give them probably three. We'll take this one out. Pulled these out of the freezer so they, they didn't come straight out of another hive. It's got a, it was from a dead out or not, something that went queenless, that's what it was. And I just, I just picked up my material and let the bees go somewhere else. So I would give them this one. melting is just come out of freezers some honey I'm gonna go ahead and give them this this one that I started to give them they can move it around and put it where they want it I need to clean my hood can't hardly let go of the hive tool. Alright, that'll give them a little extra kick. Little hip. I didn't bring no bricks. Alright, let's go to the other end. These are almost settled back down, but we'll give them another minute or two. Probably pretty much the same thing here. Just an empty box on top of a bunch of bees. Just look at that. I'm gonna add a, let's see what they drawing right here. Yeah, they drawing that out good. I'll just add one right here. I don't know what they're gonna do there. We'll see. one out I'm gonna leave this one over here because this one's got honey in it that frozen honey of course it's warm now it's been sitting in the back of that truck with that cover on it and it got hot quick it ain't cooked though it ain't been in there that long
Now I may go ahead and grab another one to put up here for them. Let's see what I got. A lot of pollen bee bread on that side, nectar on this side. Look at the wax on that thing. A little too much, huh? A little bit of nectar, well, just on that side. Yeah. There we go, I give them this. What is this? Nothing? That's all they getting. I wasn't videoing when I was waxing the foundations. This one here got a little over waxed. What happened, my fire went out and started cooling down, didn't realize it. And when your wax ain't quite rolling enough, you get way too much on there when you're dipping it. I'll probably have to show you all that one day. I hadn't done it in a while. I say two weeks ago these bees were in the same state. Hadn't grown a bit. A few bees up here. Looks like there are more bees on that side, so I'm going to go over here. Well, that's got a pretty good bit. Okay, they have, I gave them two combs. So I'll give them, let's see what I got. I'll give them one more. And they'll be good. Any bees on, on there? What y'all run out for? You pick up the. All right, this is the one we put the new bottom on. They look like they settled back down.
Not a whole lot of bees at the top. And I didn't give them nothing but plastic up here. Just going to peek. Box full of bees. Alright, I'm going to give them something to try to pull them up. That's the one that I added the wax to. I think I might leave that alone. I'm going to see what it does. So we'll pull from this side. Most of the bees work in this side. They just ain't enough coming in to make them draw wax much, are they? Alright. This one's got a little bit of honey in it. Some bee bread. I'm going to set it here. This is a full honey. <laughs> it just looked yucky been sitting in that truck. I'm going to pull this one over. I'm going to put this honey right in here over the edge. Now, this one got some nectar in it and this came out of the box that was queenless. So they got a lot of cleaning up to do here. Got a lot of work to do right there I'm going to go ahead and give them this one too I get the bees off of it now we can get it in there I know that's giving them a lot to watch and do but there's enough bees down in that bottom box they just need to do something. Alright. Take all these bees back off of here. I know. I done disturbed y'all twice today. I'll come back in another couple of weeks and check them all out again. Okay, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this hive lifter uh, when I get in a cooler area away from the bee yard. And I'll and, uh, talk about what I think about it and what I'm having to get used to. But um, I think it's going to be all right for me. For what I'm gonna be doing with it because most of you if you've been following my channel for a good bit you know that I've got rheumatoid and I don't need to be lugging on them boxes when they once they get heavy so if I can just pick it up a little bit just to peek in the bottom or something if I need to or just relocating boxes or even you know pulling honey so I think it'll work good for me but uh 
I got a little tweaking to do to it and we'll get into that on another video dedicated just for it. Well, I'll try to stop on the way back. I don't run out of energy. I got one more bottom to change and we'll try to get it done. I'd like to do it today. That way I can kind of take off tomorrow. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.